Die meint. Wir starten schon von. Vanillaware. Beautiful, wonderful, wee Vanillaware. They've been quietly churning out games with unique, gorgeous, hand-drawn art for a wee while now. Dragon's Crown Pro here is a re-release of Dragon's Crown for the PS3. It's a four-player co-op hack and slash adventure game, and you'll know whether you like it or not just by looking at it. If you're the kind of person that sees hack and slash games as dull and repetitive, Dragon's Crown Pro won't change your mind. But if you're a fan of the genre and can't wait to get your next fix of being knee-deep in the corpses of goblins that have fallen to your sword, then you'll probably want to dive in. The strength of Dragon's Crown Pro is in the sheer chaos on screen. Some of the character sprites are absolutely massive, taking up a large part of the screen. So, when you have four teammates all bashing away at a crowd of nasties, swords slashing and spells zapping everywhere, it can be a bit hard to follow. That's not a criticism though. It's all just part of the fun. The rhythm of the game is going from quiet moments to full-on brawls in the blink of an eye, and embracing the madness is what it's all about. Things quieten down and you're given space to think when you travel back to the main town. Here you can advance the plot, talk to characters, buy potions and equipment, and, most importantly, bring the dead back to life, if you're lucky enough to find a pile of bones in your adventures. Allow this heart to beat again. The newly living will wait at the inn, ready to be enlisted into your merry band of adventurers as AI partners if you're lacking real pals to play with. The plot is high fantasy hokum, but it's a great excuse to meet some of the weirdest looking characters I've met in a game for quite some time. Vanillaware usually stick to a sort of anime aesthetic mixed with classical Japanese art. Dragon's Crown Pro looks more like an 80s fantasy film like Conan or something. I can't decide if it's a beautiful looking game or if it's minging. Muscles bulge, beards grow untamed and the dirt and grime of the medieval setting is plain to see. There's something about the overemphasis of everything, and I mean everything, that puts me off a bit, but I can't deny it's eye-catching and utterly unique looking. That being said, I'm all for artistic expression, but the sorceress's heaving chest just makes it a little embarrassing to play as a grown man. Maybe you're into that though, and I'm not here to kink shame. One thing that is truly beautiful though, as in all Vanillaware games, is the parallax scrolling effect. Layers upon layers of gorgeous scenery scroll past and give a real sense of place and depth to the world. The map screen alone is just wonderful. I could just sit and stare at it for hours as it flies through the world. If you're into hack and slash games, I wouldn't let some of the uh, extravagancies of the artist put you off Dragon's Crown Pro. It's fun, it's chaotic and it's mental. I haven't played this PS4 version with real folk yet, but we here at BitSocket played the PS3 version with some pals all on one couch years ago and it was a blast. Now that it's in PS4, I highly recommend it. Maybe make sure the folk you're playing with are cool with Dead or Alive sized tits first away. If you've enjoyed this video then why not check out our newly launched Patreon at patreon.com slash bitsocket where you can help fund more videos like this and our podcast. There's even a bonus podcast if you pledge $3 a month. So why not go and check it out, patreon.com slash bitsocket. Keep bitsocketing.